Hello everybody, my name is Professor Sabrina Lyman Barry and welcome to Physics 140. Now today we're going Today we're going to be looking at some more physics, obviously. Now we're going to be doing a sequel back to physics 139. So we're going to cover a few of the things we missed over there. So let's again this time we're not going to draw that ball dude draw a wave okay and then I'm actually going to do it back around sorry that's not the best thing I could do but uh, I'm just gonna try that again. So, you know, this is better, I guess. So, anyways, let's say we take this upper portion. So we zoom in there, and then we zoom in down on this lower portion which is going to look a bit like that so now this upper portion it had is very high in height <coughs> so that means the potential energy is going to be big uh, also it's about the can it already uh, built up a large potential energy and uh, since its velocity is going to it's just turning around at that point it's about to convert a lot of stuff so the uh, velocity just starts rocketing in so velocity is large meaning ke is also large since we know that uh, this is V, it must be, you know, mm, where okay, E is always proportional to V in some way. And now, uh, we covered this uh, down one, this downward one. I'm going to bring it a little farther away for more perspective. Now, its height is very small, giving it low PE. And, uh, and it isn't uh, about to build up a lot of velocity because it's start, uh, only starting to build up a little bit of potential energy. Kinetic energy conversion happens fast since so it uh, uses velocity, a large amount of velocity, but potential energy happens really slowly since you have to build up height, meaning uh, the uh, velocity is really low because they're no, uh, all your kinetic energy has been spent. You can't form anymore until you've already got some potential energy to spend over here and then droop down. So that means that Ke is low too. So now, uh, we've seen, now that uh, we've seen that potential energy and kinetic energy I can be very weird at times. But why are you sleeping in the middle of class, cameraman? Uh, but there are some times there are uh, some times where these can actually stay in place normally. These times are when we replace the average potential energies and kinetic energies. Now, I'm going to get to a hypothesis very shortly. But before that, I want to state that some people uh, know, most people know, that potential energy is about half of the total energy, so it's kinetic energy, while uh, averaged, while being averaged. So, power it's really the um, how much energy is being transmitted over a period of time. 
So, uh, uh, you know, average KE is going to be equal to that. If average KE is going to be half, then two average KE would be the full energy being transmitted over T for time, of course. Now, let's see if this works out. Well, we know 2D KE over T, KE is equal to half MV squared, okay, over T. These cancel out giving us MV squared over T. Now, you might be tempted with the M in the T, but V squared and T are very important since that's going to be mv times v over t, which is mav. Now, ma collapses into f, giving us a simplified version f of v. Now, why is that important? Well, because power is work over time. Now, work is equal to mm, force over a certain distance. Now, that's for uh, a certain distance divided by a certain time going to be velocity, which is the exact same as we see over here, meaning this sort of works out. So, that means that <coughs> uh, uh, there's a hypothesis some people use that P can be calculated as 2KE over T. Now, there are some other hypotheses, like that ridiculous one we covered the last lecture, with uh, P equal to this very weird looking atrocity. I think this is how it looked. Hmm. I'm pretty sure I screwed up at least one thing here. But I hope it's fine. This atrocity is uh, known as a, a hypothesis, and I don't really know that much about its derivative, but it's probably very painful from what I can guess about the equation. So, anyways, <sighs> uh, these are a few extra things we've covered on. Uh, uh, these are a few extra things we didn't cover last time. Thank you all for tuning in and I'll see you next to 141. Bye. Wow, we're getting gold. Bye. 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 Oh yeah, this video was also sponsored by Rillings.